Hello and welcome to the 1989 Chevrolet Corvette 01C4. Now this is a 4th generation Corvette and the Z01 was honestly just the pinnacle of it. Now this car is honestly one of the best American vehicles that you can own in Chrysler Mo 7 and with update 1.36 we can add an engine swap to this Corvette and I think it actually ruins the car but we'll talk about that in a bit but if you guys do go on to enjoy this video well leave a like and subscribe for more content. Now when it comes to a Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 you can pick this vehicle up from the used dealership for around 91,000 which I think is absolutely affordable or you could actually win this vehicle for free by finishing in the top 3 at the American Clubman Cup 700 around Daytona Speedway during the GT Cafe menu book number 27. If you've completed the campaign you already have this vehicle so that's just an added bonus. So when it comes to the Chevrolet Corvette C401 this car honestly has a very special history and I learned something about this vehicle that you probably know or you probably don't and that is that Lotus had such a big part when it came to designing this vehicle. Now GM acquired Lotus during the time period that the C4 was coming out and Corvette went over to Lotus and said hey look we want to make the most powerful car we can and Lotus said okay bet. So Lotus then designed a brand new engine for the C4 Corvette to replace the L98 V8 that was powering the standard C4. Now this is the engine that GM dubbed as the LT5. So the car produced a whopping 280 kilowatts which is about 375 brake horsepower and also a fun fact this is the first ever Corvette to be offered with a 6 speed manual gearbox. Now this car in real life, well in the time period that it was on sale, was extremely expensive. The Z01 option alone was 27000 plus. A year later that price jumped up to $31,000, nearly doubling the price of the standard Corvette. Now even with them having these bold figures, the Zero One barely made any profit for Chevrolet because of how much development cost to get the vehicle to where it was. Now, how does this vehicle feel to be behind the wheel of Ingrid Trimo 7? Now, when you are checking this vehicle standard, you are not going to be blown away at all. The car handles okay, it's nothing to really change the way you're going to see Corvettes or anything like that. You're sitting lap times around Kyoto Driving Park around a 1 minute 56 second time frame which isn't exactly screaming wow I'm the best performance car however you can change that. Now if you head on over to a tuning shop and spend at least 200,000 credits you are going to see a drastic change in performance. Now once the car is fully upgraded we see that the car produces 876 brake horsepower and comes in at a weight of 1163 kgs. So the vehicle is rather light and produces a really good amount of power. Now with GC Auto if you add on a lot of aero and just are able to fully max out the downforce you are gonna feel an absolute beast when it comes to going around the circuit. This car with no traction control on is so stable and is just focused on only getting you around circuit as fast as possible. You see yourself traveling well over 300 km per hour with absolute ease. Honestly, I haven't felt an American vehicle perform like this in a very long time. Even this new Z01 fully upgraded doesn't handle as well as this Corvette does. Yes, okay, it can step out every now and then, but honestly, it's nothing to be concerned about. It doesn't slow you down that drastically. The car is insanely tight when it comes to braking. You slow down and get your vehicle in such a spot 
that you have precise handling whenever you need to take a corner. There's such precision with this Corvette, it's honestly mind-blowing. With this standard engine being fully upgraded, it is at just the perfect performance level to just make it absolutely amazing to drive. Honestly, one of the best American vehicles you can drive in Grand Turismo 7 and I will stand on that statement. It is such a beautiful car and insanely fast. Around Kyoto Driving Park are setting lap times around a 1 minute 29 seconds. And with the brand new Maserati MC20 that came to the game, that car with more power, I think it weighs somewhat around the same weight. That car was setting lap times around a 1 minute 30 second range. The old Chevy Corvette from the 90s beats out the most modern Maserati we have in the game. This car is absolutely incredible and the thing is if you want more power you can get exactly that. If we head on over to GT Auto well you will notice that we can actually put an engine swap into this vehicle. We can take the engine out of the new C7 Corvette ZR1 and put it into the C4. Now this engine swap was bound to come. We knew it was gonna happen. It's as iconic as putting the 2J into anything. You know what's gonna happen. So for 167,000 credits you can put the brand new LT5 engine and replace out the old one. Now to be honest with you, I don't really like this setup. Yes, once you fully upgrade it, you get a lot more power out of the Corvette, but that might be the problem. When it comes to going around a circuit, the car just has too much power. With 800 and whatever brake horsepower the standard LC5 produced, that was exactly where the car needed to be. The car now with the modern LC5 engine in it, it's a bit too responsive. It, every time you put your foot down, the rear wheels can't really handle how much power the vehicle produces. Even when it comes to cornering, the vehicle is having at a bit too high of a speed for you to actually control it. So you have to fight the vehicle a bit more which causes you to lose a lot more time. And with you having so much more power. Over the standard engine, the brakes just can't handle it. The, co the car can't handle it. You will see yourself setting a lot slower lap times like with this vehicle. I'm setting lap times around a 1 minute 31, 1 minute 32 second lap. Which means with the standard engine, I was running 3 seconds faster than now with the fully upgraded engine. You, you see in the issue, this may just be my skill level, my skill issues that I am having. However, honestly, with Grand Turismo 7, there's such a fine line that once you cross that performance threshold, the car just honestly goes downhill. It isn't as good as how it was if you actually want to detune it. So, if you want to get the true performance, you can tweak and play with the ECU detuner to get to a perfect limit for your driving style. But by all means, the C4 Corvette, the ZR1, is a phenomenal vehicle that will honestly change your opinion on how American vehicles handle a circuit. The car is absolutely incredible and is one of the best experiences I've had in quite some time in an American vehicle and that says a lot because I just went over what the best fastest most powerful American production car is and honestly this C4 ZR1 with its standard engine being fully upgraded can give those cars a run for their money. The car just comes under 800 performance points which means you might be tempted to do some money grinding with this vehicle. I mean look, by all means you can try it out. I just don't think you're gonna find very much success in doing so. The Corvette isn't really the 
best there is for money grinding because of just the absolute fuel economy and fun fact the standard engine being fully upgraded comes over 800 at comes over 800 performance points whereas with the new lc5 you actually see that performance rating decrease which is something odd and something i honestly didn't expect to see so with all this being said i hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more class of more 7 content and i'll see you in the next one